it's Jen. Welcome to my October favorites. I'm gonna just start things off with soap because I just want to get that out of the way. I have not been really satisfied with the body wash that I've been currently using because I don't get that really squeaky clean feeling out of it. So I thought I would just go get some bar soap because Whole Foods was having a sale. It was two for eight dollars. I basically got two scents. One is in lavender and the other is shea butter. And currently I've been using up the lavender. And what I like to do is I just get my loofah and the bar of soap connect it together and just start rubbing until it makes a really nice lather and I'm really surprised because the soap foams really well. If I want to shave that day, I'll use my crappy body wash and I'll just use that as a shaving cream. And I really like the soap because it doesn't leave my skin feeling dry and tight, you know what I mean? So it's, it's an A in my book. If you've seen any of my makeup tutorials or my get ready with me videos, you know that when it comes to my lashes, I always have some self-deprecating comment to say about them. So it was like no surprise when I just kind of gave up on having my lashes look va va boom until my friend Stephanie recommended the Lancome Eyelash Primer. And it's one of those products that you just apply on your eyelashes before mascara. So it comes in a white tube and it has like this white product on it, I don't know, paste, and you just basically coat your lashes. I kind of go overboard. I put maybe three or four coats of this on, on my tops and bottoms. It's to the point where it looks like I'm, I'm, I've am i just come out of a snowstorm, and it dries a little bit translucent, and then you can apply your regular mascara. I either use Benefits Their Real Mascara, or I'll use Maybelline's The Falsies Waterproof. My lashes come out a little bit spidery, but I really like that look because, as I said before, spider lashes are better than no lashes. My next pick is a music favorite. It is Anu's album, World Music. He's a producer based in LA and he's definitely on some next level stuff. His album is only 20 minutes long, but it's a complete masterpiece. He basically samples a lot of noise like running water or a clock ticking or something that sounds really intergalactic and he fuses it with soul and jazz and hip hop and it just sounds so dope and I really think you should check him out. His entire album is on Spotify, so Go listen to it because it's free. Next up, I've got Essie's Vested Interest. And when I first saw this, I was convinced that this was a dusty olive color. And after wearing it for this month, I came to a realization that this is not really dusty olive. It's actually a dusty bluish teal, which tripped me the freak out. I don't know why. I know it's not like a profound discovery, but it's just weird when you're so sure about something and it just turns its back on you. It's really strange. I mean, right now it looks olive, but when I'm out in the sun, it looks like it's dusty teal or something. Anyway, I think it's a fabulous polish to wear during the fall, whether it's teal or olive, whatever. I think it's cute. My next favorite is a book. It's East of Eden by John Steinbeck. And I feel like I'm on Reading Rainbow right now. I've been meaning to read this book because it's Sarah and Stephanie's favorite book of all time. So. I, I had to read it, you know? And East of Eden is a complete classic. In a really rough nutshell, it's about two generations of the Trask and Hamilton family and how they interact with each other and how they grow as people. And Steinbeck really delves into really powerful themes like choice, good, evil, and rivalry. And it sounds really dry and not as exciting the way I'm explaining right now, but trust me, it's really good. I would say it's one of the most insightful books I've read, and it's kind of raunchy, and it's an easy read. My next favorite is a movie in theaters. It's called Gravity, and it stars Sandra Bullock and George Clooney, and I thought it was one of the greatest movies I've seen this year. It's basically a story about survival and human resilience. Sandra Bullock and George Clooney are in space, and the most terrifying sh happens to them. It just Everything that can go wrong in space happens to them. There's this one scene where Sandra Bullock is just hurtling through space, just going further and further away from Earth, and there's nothing she can do about it. Because in space, once you pick up momentum, you stay at that constant speed forever, or until you run into something, or until you have the power to kind of pull yourself out of that force, like if you had a jetpack, that could help. I would recommend seeing it in IMAX, not in 3D, because if your 3D glasses have scratches all over it, it's just gonna ruin the entire experience because the visuals are breathtaking and mesmerizing. Definitely recommend it. Go see it. So those are all my October favorites. If any of my favorites are your favorites too, feel free to write a comment down below or just write a comment down below about anything. You can tell me what's on another tab on your screen. I'd love to read about it. 
If you have an Instagram or a Twitter, my username is I'm Jen Im, and I guess I'll see you in my next video. Bye!